Manipulation X V3 by Easy Algo is officially out. And in this video, I'm gonna go through exactly what this indicator entails, how to use it properly, because this is going to change the game for so many of you guys out there. The dev team has been working on this for many, many months. And in my opinion, this is the most accurate trading view indicator out there. Uh, that currently exists, okay? And we have added a ton of cool stuff this update while also keeping it very, very simple. Now, what this indicator actually shows you is when there is manipulation happening in the market. And we find this by using the manipulation model, which essentially is a liquidity sweep followed by an inverse fair value gap. However, we have added a few more filters in this update to make it even more accurate. So without further ado, let us jump into this indicator. And before you guys ask Matt, does this work for crypto? Does this work for stocks? Does this work for Forex? Yes, and I will show you guys in real time live price action. So let us jump into the settings here and we are going to break everything down, okay? So to start, we have these signal settings, okay? This is where you see the A or the A plus setup, okay? Now, what this is actually showing, like I said, is a sweep of liquidity followed by an inverse fair value gap. As soon as price closes above or below that fair value gap, the indicator will flash a signal indicating that manipulation had happened in the market. For example, here was the manipulation move. Here was the first bullish fair value gap on this manipulation leg up. So as soon as price closes back below that bullish fair value gap, we create an inverse fair value gap, which is when the indicator called this. Now we do have some customizations as well, okay? Our first toggle is V-shape reversals only. You guys know I'm a big advocate for trading V-shape reversals. This is going to be an inverse fair value gap within a few candles. You can see here on this move that we got yesterday, we had a sweep of liquidity followed by an inverse fair value gap right here. And you can see that we formed this V-shape. Within like one candle, we inverse this bearish fair value gap. Indicates that there is a lot of momentum in the markets. Again, if we look left here, this was on Tuesday. You can see we had a few V-shape reversals. And guys, what you're looking for when when you're using this model and I've gone over the strategy before I will continue to make videos going over this model but this is exactly what you want to look for right you want to see that sweep of external liquidity right in our macro time which I'll jump into in just a moment as well right clear v-shape reversal very obvious inverse fair value gap these kind of entries are the trades that you guys want to be taking now we also have a filter for showing a plus setups only now our indicator does a great job because it actually outlines a plus setups as well so you can see for example this trade right here the indicator alerted this as an a plus setup indicator also alerted this a plus setup yesterday during pre-market right boom a plus setup a plus setup obviously these are going to be less common than the a setups so what is the difference between an a setup and an a plus setup what is the logic here so an a plus setup is when price is delivering from a higher time frame fair value gap either a one hour or a four hour fair value gap. Now our indicator automatically knows when price is delivering from a higher time frame gap. Take this signal for example. We are actually delivering, even though you can't see it on a one minute, we are delivering from a one hour bullish fair value gap. It was actually a four hour fair value gap, right? So we had this four hour bullish fair value gap that we are delivering from, still following the rules of a liquidity sweep into an inverse fair value gap. However, the only difference is that this is delivering from a higher time frame gap making the setup an A plus setup. You can see here on the three minute time frame, we have an A plus setup delivering from a higher time frame for a value gap into that inverse for a value gap. Again, we have another A plus setup right here. See if we have another one. Again, another A plus setup right here. Right? I mean, this one kept on running. Another A plus setup off of the new weekly opening gap. Again, tags into this gap, into a V-shape. Again, another A-plus setup here. This is a bearish signal. And guys, I am not going back and cherry picking these signals. Like. I'm, I'm literally showing you all the signals that are on my chart. Now, what I would recommend is I would keep this toggled off because our indicator will decipher whether it's an A setup or an A plus setup. And you know, just because a setup is rated A and not A plus doesn't mean that it's not a valid setup, okay? If it follows your rules, if you have a clear draw on liquidity, if you have a clear V-shape reversal, these signals are still incredibly accurate. As you can see, there is not another indicator this accurate on TradingView. I've been building indicators for four years now and I have not seen an indicator this accurate, especially on a lower time frame. So very excited for you guys to start using this. But moving on from the A plus setups, we also have 
a show recent trades only filter. Now, all this does is it kind of removes the clutter on your chart and it only shows the recent signals, right? So the past two signals. We also have a really cool time filter here. If you trade the New York session, I'd recommend setting this from like nine to 12. This is when I personally trade. However, you know, you can trade all sessions. That's fine. We also have a daily bias filter. Okay. So if you are bearish for the day, I don't want to trade against the trend. I'll set the bias to bearish. And there you can see I only have bearish signals. I am not a huge fan of bias. Okay. I think a bias is just that it is a bias. Just because you are bullish for the day doesn't mean that you can't take a short signal if the opportunity presents itself. So I like to keep that on neutral. We also have the labels, of course. And then if you want to change the text on the label, you can toggle on the custom emblem text. Now, for example, if I wanted the text to say easy, there we go. Right. It looks pretty cool. Just some basic customizations here doesn't really change the logic of anything below that we have the IFEGs I would keep this default okay this just shows when there's an inverse fair value gap and when price inverses it okay below that we have the high time frame fair value gap feature this will actually show you higher time frame fair value gaps on the chart of your choosing so for example here if I'm on Nasdaq on the five minute time frame you can see that I have two multi time frame fair value gaps on my chart I have the 15 minute fair value gaps and the one hour fair value gaps. Before you enter a trade, you wanna make sure price is delivering from one of these fair value gaps. These can also be very good take profit targets. I always recommend at least taking partials at an unmitigated fair value gap. Now you can see all these higher time frame gaps on the chart of your choosing. We have recently added a third internal liquidity or fair value gap filter. If I wanted to see the four hour fair value gaps, I can see those as well. We do have some customizations as well. If you wanted to extend these fair value gaps for whatever reason, change the opacity, you can change the mitigation method. Okay, so by default, these fair value gaps are mitigated when price reaches the 50% level. Below that, we have the liquidity levels. We also have the live levels on your chart as well. If you guys are looking for levels to take trades off of, you can turn on our live liquidity levels. And here we have the resting liquidity levels on your chart makes it very easy to see where these key levels are okay below that we have my favorite feature on the new indicator which are the liquidity magnets the low resistance liquidity levels so let me show you guys just how accurate these liquidity levels are okay you guys are gonna be blown away so all of these magnets that you see are low resistance liquidity okay so trend line liquidity equal highs, equal lows, whatever you want to call it, nine times out of 10, price will end up taking out these magnets before reversing. These are used as a target. So for example, if I am looking to enter this trade right here, very obvious inverse for a value gap, I am going to be targeting the low resistance liquidity to the left because I understand that this is a very strong draw on liquidity. Again, minimum nine times out of 10, price will eventually end up taking out all of these liquidity levels. Again, even looking at the short position that we had yesterday in pre-market, you might be thinking, you know, where is my target for this short position? Always look left, okay? We have a ton of low resistance liquidity that price had not taken out yet. This is going to be our first take profit. Look left again, we have some more low resistance liquidity that price had yet to take out. So that is going to be our take profit. And we actually just saw this play out a few hours ago on Bitcoin as well. So you can see we have this low resistance liquidity, right? line liquidity this is a strong draw on liquidity so all we're waiting for now is our manipulation model right sweep of liquidity inverse fair value gap indicator alerts the signal and where do you target you are targeting the top of this low resistance liquidity for your first tp and this external high here for your second tp in fact i was just looking at gbp usd as well i don't even trade forex and we had another great signal using low resistance liquidity, right? A ton of trend line liquidity, meaning these are protected highs. Price has yet to take out these highs. So all we're doing is waiting for our A plus setup. Here we have a sweep of external liquidity into a V-shape reversal. Indicator calls the signal right here. And where do you target? Well, you target the top of this low resistance liquidity. Definitely my favorite feature in the new indicator, okay? I would also recommend keeping this on and keeping the settings default. Okay, after that, we have key levels. So this just shows you previous day low, previous week low, previous day high, previous week high. Okay, these are also strong draws on liquidity. Okay, below that, we have the macro setting. So this is derived from ICT kill zones or macro times. So let me show you guys what this looks like on the chart. Here, you have certain times that are highlighted, okay, depending on what macros you want to trade. Now, my favorite macros are 950 and 10. 
1050. Okay, I'm sure you guys have heard of the 10 a.m. reversal, 11 a.m. reversal. This is because price falls within the macro time. Whenever you see you have an A rated or above setup that falls within the macro time, this is going to be a high probability trade. Again, looking back at this trade on Tuesday, I saw it, we had market open, price took out liquidity at the lows. We got our A rated setup right here. Price ran towards the external liquidity at the highs. And then we got this very clear V shape reversal with an A rated setup right within that macro time. So this is going to be a high probability trade, a high probability setup. You can see that during these times, a lot of volume tends to come into the markets. You tend to see either a liquidity grab, a reversal, or just an expansion in price. You can even see on this trade yesterday. Now this was a break even trade unfortunately, but this did follow all the rules, right? Right within our macro time, we got that A-rated setup. Maybe you took a partial here at a one to 1 1.5, but this was a valid setup falling within our macro window. Right before that 950 macro, there's your super liquidity. There's your A-rated setup going into macro. Below that, we have our SMT divergences. So let's say I'm a NASDAQ trader. I want to see SMT divergences with ES. I can turn on the SMT divergence and the indicator will alert me for when there is an SMT. So for example, ES took the lows here. NASDAQ did not. So there was an SMT divergence. Now the SMT divergences are repaying. Okay, I want to make that very clear. So for example, ES took the high. NQ did not take the high and the SMT confirms right around here. This is still very useful, okay? Because we have the SMT divergence, we get that inverse for value gap, we get that liquidity sweep. ES already has taken the highs, so we know that NASDAQ is most likely going for these lows. If you guys don't know some of the concepts that I'm talking about, that's totally fine. Again, I'm gonna do videos on each of these individual concepts so you guys understand exactly how I trade. But this is more advanced stuff, right? Like you don't need an SMT to enter a good trade, right? Like price doesn't have to be within your macro time window. All we're doing with this indicator is we're giving you guys confluences. We want you to be entering a trade and to be confident in your trade, to fully understand the system that you're trading, to have all the information available that you possibly need without overcomplicating it while simplifying things, while removing the guesswork, and really just automating like 90% of the process. That is all this indicator is doing. It's automating all of the manual work. It's giving you everything that you need to know on a silver platter right in front of you. And then it's up to you to execute. Below the SMT, we have the little trend dashboard here in the top right corner, okay? Now, if you guys want to set an alert for anything that I've just mentioned, you can come up here to alerts on TradingView. Make sure that the symbol is whatever you're trading. Set the condition to manipulation X V3. And we have a ton of alerts here, okay? We have A plus long setup. A plus short setup, bullish fair value gap, bearish fair value gap, possible long, possible short, and set it to once per bar close if you're going to set an alert. Now, if you guys want to trade using this indicator and using this strategy with me, I'm also going to be live trading NASDAQ Monday through Friday at market open. So 9.30 a.m. Eastern inside of the pro discord. It is not an added cost, okay? The pro discord comes with access to the indicator. So it is one subscription for the indicator, for the pro discord, for the live trading. Before I let you guys loose and you guys go crazy using this indicator, there is one last thing I want to mention, okay? And that is going to be trading with discretion, okay? Just because the indicator calls a signal does not mean that you should take it, okay? Even though it might follow the rules mechanically, it doesn't mean that you should take the signal. Take this long, for example, here, okay? I would never in a million years take this long position. This is not a bullish candle. We have created an equal low. We're not taking out external liquidity. I need to make sure that the trades that I'm taking are very obvious trades, right? It should be a no brainer. I shouldn't be trading every single day. In fact, I don't trade every single day. I wait for a high probability setup. I wait for a clear inverse fair value gap. I wait for a sweep of external liquidity. I make sure I have a clear draw on liquidity to target. I make sure the trade falls within my timing window. I'm not just blindly entering every single trade that I take, okay? Although this has a high win rate, although you guys are going to do great with this indicator, make sure to use discretion. Make sure that you understand the system that we're trading here because this isn't random, right? Like none of these signals are random. They are following a certain set of rules that I want you guys to fully understand. I think that is going to do it for this video. If you guys have enjoyed, make sure to leave a like. We've spent so many months coding this, but so many hours into this. I'm so happy with the final product. We probably will update it again next week. I'm sure there's gonna be a few glitches that I can't see right now. If you guys want access to this indicator for yourself, click the first link in the description below. Probably will be raising the prices inside of the Pro Discord soon. Seeing what other trading gurus are charging, uh, it, it's insane. Like they're, they're not even providing half the stuff that we're providing and they're charging like three times the amount. So I might have to increase the price in a little bit. Price that you get in now is going to be locked in for a lifetime. So click the first link in the description below if you guys want access to this indicator for yourself. Make sure to subscribe to the channel for more trading content and I'll see you guys next video.